That's not too bad. Ah. Hey, you ever wonder what would happen if a leopard gecko and a cactus tried to become roommates? No? Well, I did. So today we're asking the tough questions. Can a leopard gecko live happily ever after with a cactus? Well, let's find out. So, here we have a cactus. And here we have Sprinkles the leopard gecko. The cactus just moved in. And things are already looking intense. Just kidding. I'm Max. Ever since I was a kid I've been obsessed with weird pets. Now look at me at the ripe age of 35 sticking my head into an enclosure. I keep some fantastic beasts, some rare, some unique, some that you already know of, and this video is about so much more than just the leopard gecko and the cactus. See this? Wax worms. This next part is just me, raw footage, rambling about the leopard gecko and the cactus. You can always skip to the next part, which is just as exciting. All right, so you might be wondering why I am uh, lying on the ground. Well, Sprinkles. Sprinkles is a leopard gecko that I'm looking after while her owners are traveling the world for a year and a half. So I've been very fortunate to have Sprinkles part of my collection for a bit. I've given her a succulent. Now the whole point of the succulent or the cactus is to give her some more enrichment. So the idea behind this is really easy to give reptiles and even amphibians some stimulus or enrichment in the enclosures. And it's as simple as putting something new in the enclosure, whether it's a small little cactus. Technically this is bioactive now with that little cactus, but I've tried cactuses before. Um, I'm a huge fan of simplicity. I like paper towels. I love the North American style of uh, tub systems, should I say, L right? Leopard geckos are nocturnal. You can keep them in tub systems. I know it's controversial with a lot of keepers saying that it, whether it's cruel or not, it's definitely efficient. Yeah, so it's definitely an efficient way of keeping them, especially for breeding. I don't breed mine, but I do like both to be fair. I like this, this is, um, and my mate has done a really good job with this enclosure. It's got um really good range of things for sprinkles to do. Lots of climbing, lots of rocks, lots of caves. Nice little substrate, which is just like a soil mix, but that's why I've put the succulent in there. So I want to see how Sprinkles responds to the succulent, to the cactus. So let's see if leopard geckos or she will like it. Some do's and don'ts, I suppose. Or like, why would you have it? Why would you not? Firstly, one reason you'd have cactus because, like I said, it adds enrichment. Um, obviously, I wouldn't add the ones with the spikes, any spiny ones, but ones like this um, that still grow in the similar environments or dry environments. Perfect. The other reason is, you know, you're adding some color to your very dry environments that leopard geckos live in, right? She might like it, she might hate it, or she might not be bothered by about it. But reasons why you wouldn't, I suppose, is A, if you're a tub system kind of guy like me, well, that's why. You can't plant it in paper towels. So with, pa with like tub systems, you need to be super efficient with space so you just want flat surface and a lot of area surface and just literally like one hide one moist hide uh water dish calcium d3 uh, dish and a food bowl that's it uh, and heat pads obviously but with um another reason why you wouldn't have it i suppose is if you don't want to have a bioactive en environment i suppose like this you don't want to have too much maintenance with soil and things like that i mean like i said you don't have to you don't have to miss them or water them every day yeah just don't do the spiky ones obviously don't do uh, oh and space you know cactuses do take up valuable space if you've got a smaller enclosure um this enclosure is great for just one leopard gecko like plenty of room for it to climb around and add your enrichment things for it to climb on but that's the other thing is cactuses don't really do much apart from looking good so they don't climb them um, and they just take up valuable surface area let's see how she goes and oh what's, what's that little oh that's a little mealworm oh, i gotta get that out of there digging into the soil unbelievable but first hang on a second hang on a second we gotta take it back we gotta take it way back <laughs> Before I started rambling, I had to get the cactus. So I went to the old faithful down the road, the old hardware store, and I picked up two little cactuses. One was super cute, it was actually called like rabbit ears. Anyway, look at this cute little cactus. Honestly, I might even keep it for myself. Yuck. Yuck. Sorry guys, that was just uh, some of Sprinkles leftover shed. Anyway, got the cactuses in there, dug two little holes, and planted those little suckers in there. All right, I planted the first one in, now it's time to get those rabbit ears in there. Honestly, look at this cactus, looks ridiculous. But anyway, the question was, can leopard geckos and cactuses thrive in the same enclosure? Well, let's find out. Added some rocks, added more, some more things for sprinkles to climb. Now, there was collateral, there was damage. Look at my finger. Owie! No, it's fine. These things were tiny, I just washed them off. They weren't that harmful. Topped up sprinkles bowl with some water, and got sprinkles in there. Now, what did sprinkles think? Well, at first... She wasn't faced. She didn't care. She did explore it in the end, but like I said, it just takes up space, but it also adds some color to her enclosure. Mm -hmm. 
Now, bonus footage number one. I'm going to walk you through how I would set up a and how I do set up my tub systems for my leopard geckos. Now, obviously, I'm not an expert, but I have enough experience to know that this works. Now, in North America, why I call it the North American style is because in North America, all the breeders use a system. I get it. It's efficient. You don't need these super huge elaborate setups with leopard geckos because they are nocturnal. But anyway, this is how I do it. All right, the first part, removing all the paper towels. This is the easy part and why I love it. Now we're gonna put in the fresh paper towels, piece by piece. Reason why I love paper towels? Well, they're hygienic, they're easy to replace, easy to add. Now the next part is the humid hide. Now I use plastic Tupperware, spackle moss, I mist it, and then I put it onto one of the heat pads. The reason for the humid hide is so that they have a place to go when they're shedding their skin, and it just assists them with the process. Really, really simple. Once that's in, I'm gonna put in two hides. One goes over the large heat pad, and one is a cool hide. Always two hides, two different locations. The water bowl, two water bowls actually, the calcium with D3 supplement, and a food dish. Then I will push it back in in this perfect rack size slot with a heat pad underneath, as you can see. And that's it, it's really that simple. Now I'm gonna give the leopard geckos a little treaty, so stay tuned. So, I thought I'd be a bit more raw with this footage, so not the usual content I create, but more of a behind the scenes look at I guess the life of a reptile keeper at the ripe age of 35, yeah, 35 years old. I've been keeping geckos, oh, should I should say, I've been keeping reptiles and amphibians on and off for a long time. Um, it's been a hobby since I was a kid, I haven't grown out of it. I think it's just because I, like, I don't know, for me it's, it's therapeutic, right? So rather than sitting in the evening scrolling through social media, one of the very fortunate things I get to do is work with New Zealand geckos, which are protected. They're native and endemic, so they only exist in this part of the world. I have a permit to keep them in captivity. Some of the species, I've got three. But anyway, these are waxworms. So waxworms are basically a food that is bred in captivity. So essentially, it's like a great for winter and it's great for fattening up the animal. So let's say you've got a underweight animal or maybe a sick animal who's not eating anything else, but waxworms, it's like ice cream. You don't want to give it to them every day, um, but you definitely want to give it to them some days. So this is them. Uh, this is actually a really good batch. So essentially that's what they look like. Yeah, chubby, chubby little grubs. They're harmless, but geckos, reptiles love them. Not your main source of nutrition, but, oh, some are falling. But essentially I got these guys for my leopard geckos. Um, it's cold. I'm in the South Island of New Zealand, so it is cold. Um, I, I've been basically supplying them with a lot of mealworms because there's, you know, uh, season, seasonally wise or seasonality. There's not many crickets around. Um, I do like wild caught. Um, for my leopard geckos, I do get captive bred, so I do buy locusts, silkworms, etc., etc. But what I'm going to do with this basically is because this is like in essentially they're wax worms and they're in this like really thick texture i'm quite lucky where i've got a few here that i are uh, out and about so i don't have to do too much picking but basically i'm picking through all this wax and i'm getting them out but i already got five here so i have to do too much digging but essentially it i i suppose for a little spiel about leopard geckos this is for the leopard geckos leopard geckos are the most popular pet lizards in the world in my opinion i think they are statistically as well potentially but they're super easy to look after you can either keep them in Tub systems, which North America love to do, it's efficient, um, or in bioactive environments or enclosures with lighting, they're nocturnal. The mine are heavily nocturnal. Maybe a lot of geckos, leopard geckos in captivity aren't nocturnal, so they'll be out during the day, which is mine are uh, coming out at night, so hence that they're almost naturalistic in that sense, but I'm giving them a little treaty just to fatten them up a little bit. It's cold, I want them to be nice and plump, their tail wants to be fat, they want to be healthy coming into spring um i'm not planning to breed them i've got a male and a female and another female but no breeding because i don't know you got to have a plan for breeding and for me i just like to keep them as pets essentially right just appreciate them as animals with breeding comes a lot of complexity like having a lot more enclosures for the babies finding new homes etc etc but uh yeah i thought i'd like to see a behind the scenes look at some raw unseen footage or raw uncut footage unedited and it's just me rambling on you know leopard geckos live for a long time uh, a lot of these species that i have live for a long time so it's a lifetime commitment so for me i'm like well you know i've got the time now i've got the patience i've got the you know the passion they are simple like simplistic in nature but also complicated and complex to keep um leopard geckos are super simple as long as you know they need temperature they need heat 
all year round. They um, can't deal with super cold temperatures because of from the natural environments they come from. Um, you can keep them really simplistic. They're great for handling. You can get them super tame. Epic little creatures, as you can see here, with Iki and Ike. I've got a wild type. Wild type is the standard black and yellow spots, leopard gecko, it's all in the name. Then you've got your morph. So Ike is a albino morph, meaning that he's got some other, I suppose, genetics in him, uh, making him a bit more unique. Um, in America, like North America, you get these like super crazy morphs. This is my little rant about leopard geckos, my leopard geckos, what I'm doing, just getting some wax worms out and just talking shop, really. So let's get them in there and see if they're keen. They look keen, let's see if they are keen. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that one, and stay till the end. I'm going to leave you with this. Some waxworms, a tub, and Eki, with still a bit of shed on her nose. Stay tuned for the next one.